Assalamu alaikum to the Muslims and hello to everyone else. Mohammed bin Abdullah here again. I'm here because I want to talk to you about a subject that is very important in Islam. Homosexuality. Homosexuality, it's disgusting, it is sick, and it is vile. Now, many of you are probably thinking, oh, yeah, well, it's perfectly natural. To you, I say, box. And here's the proof. A man and a man cannot make a baby. Then, if we turn to Surah 7, Ayah 80 in the Quran, it clearly states, And Lot, remember when he said unto his folk, Will ye commit an abomination such as no creature did before you? So see, that's referring to homosexuality. And if that's not sufficient, turn to 2928, which says, And Lot, remember, when he said unto his folk, Lo, ye commit lewdness and such no creature did before you? And that's, this time, it's without a question mark. So see, I provided you with not one, but two passages from the Quran that says homoness is unnatural. So I can't imagine what more proof would you need, you darn kafir. And since Islam is the true religion, we have the one and true way of dealing with homosexuality. First of all, if they even appear to be like they could be gay, we're very lenient. We're simply to ostracize them and not allow them in our homes as the Prophet told us in Hadith. Probably because those people might spread their gayness disease to the rest of us. And it's not until they're caught doing their evil act that further action is taken. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, If you find anyone doing as lots of people did, kill the one who does it and the one to whom it is done. But we're not unreasonable. If, or if we read another hadith, it says, If a man is not married and is ceased committing sodomy, he will be stoned to death. So see... If a dude is single and caught messing with another man, we kill him by stoning. But if he's married and presumably cheating on his wife, ruining the dynamics of his family, we spare him. See, I told you Islam makes sense. Alhamdulillah. Alright, so uh, that's the end of this video for me. I guess it's time for Allah to pick a mate for me. Mohammed, my faithful messenger, I have given you three choices for mate. Here they are. Oh man, he's hot. Eh, uh, she kinda looks like my old wife, Khadija. I'm looking for a newer model. MashaAllah. Oh, baby. Who's the prophet, baby? You are! I said, who's the prophet, baby? You are! That's right. Can you please have a glass of camel milk when this is over? I mean, before the genies snatch it at night. Oh, you want some milk? You can have some milk. Here you go. Eww! Your pee looks funny!